In this tutorial, I'll show you how to make this cool glitch transition in DaVinci Resolve. Note that this effect needs a plugin, but it's free. The first step of this transition is to copy the clip you want to make this transition on and drag it to the point where you want it to start. Cut the clip so it doesn't overlap the original one. Drag the original clip on top of the copied one and cut it like this. Bring it back down after that. Right-click on the copied clip and select New Compound Clip. Hit Create. Open the clip in Color Page, click this icon, and take your pen tool and mask out the car. You can also do this in Fusion, but I prefer Color Page. Once that's done, click here and track the video both ways. If the tracker didn't track the video well, click on Frame and fix the mask manually. After that, right-click on the Node section and select Add Alpha Output. Go back to the editing page and compound clip the video again. This time, open it in Fusion. Press Shift plus Space and find an effect called Pixel Sorter. If you don't have this downloaded, check the description to get it. It's free. Play around with the settings until you get the look that you want. Then move to the last frame and make a keyframe for range. Go back to the first frame and lower range high to get rid of the pixel sorting. Open the spline window and hit this icon to see the graphs better. Highlight the points and press S to smooth out the curves. Copy the look of my graph. Find transformation. Make keyframes for center on the beginning and the end. On the first keyframe, adjust the center values until the car is out of the frame. Select Transform on the spline window and copy the look of my graph. Go back to the editing page. Lift up the transition layers and extend the original clip like this. Press Command plus B to cut the clip. Compound clip the part which we cut from the original clip. Open it up in the color page and click here to see keyframes. Click on the keyframe icon next to corrector 1. Press Shift plus H to toggle on selection view and then drag the luminance slider up until most of the ground is gray. Then drag down the other slider until the whole screen is gray. On the keyframes, move to the end. Reset the sliders just enough so nothing is selected. Right-click on the Node section and add Alpha Output. Press Shift plus H to toggle off the selection view. Now as you can see, the background appears in this cool way. Drag from the right corner on the cutout clip to make it fade out nicely. That's basically it. 